Jones. It won't cost you anything to see if we can help. It was a disturbing crime in Charlotte. Two years ago today, a 20-year-old woman was found murdered in this Noda apartment building. This is her here, Mary Santina Collins. Her family says she was a happy young woman who saw the best in people. While Mary was 20 when she was killed, she had a cognitive impairment that led to development delays. So when her family didn't hear from her for a couple of days, they got worried. Two years later, her family is still waiting for justice. The suspects in the case are waiting trial. Our Caroline Hicks joins us live tonight in Noda, where a mural with Mary's face is set up outside of the Johnston YMCA. Caroline, what message does her family want to share tonight? Well, according to her family, Mary Santina Collins was everything that is pure. They say her light was untouchable, and you can almost feel that light from this mural set up in Noda. That's the hope. The family hopes people will also stop by and scan this QR code that you see set up here to read more about her story and their quest to protect others like her. It was March 30th, 2020, when a family member reported 20-year-old Mary Santina Collins as missing. Two days prior, she went to visit an acquaintance at the Yards at Noda Apartments. But when police first checked, they did not find her. It was not until April 4th when police officers returned to the apartment that they found her body wrapped in duct tape in a trash bag hidden inside of a mattress. According to our partners at the Charlotte Observer, she had been stabbed 133 times. Four young people now facing charges, James Salerno, Lavi Pam, and Kelly Lavery, all behind bars charged with murder and and kidnapping. America Deal charged with felony accessory after the fact and concealing a death bonded out of jail. The details are horrific, but Collins family wants her to be remembered for so much more. Telling WBTV that Mary did not get cut any deals, yet somehow she maintained this light that was untouchable. She was goofy, she was sweet, she was giving, she was elegant, graceful in everything she she did, and you couldn't help but notice. Collins had 22Q deletion syndrome, or DeGeorge syndrome, which causes developmental delays. Her family is now desperate to turn their pain into some good. They want to create a national alert system for missing persons with disabilities, much like an Amber Alert for children, finding a new way to keep Mary's voice alive. And I spoke with the artist of this mural. She says they put it on this canvas rather than painting it on a wall so that it could never be painted over and that it can also move location so more people can see it. And in fact, she asks if you're watching this, if you're inspired by it and maybe you have an idea for where it should go next, you can contact her. I'll put that information on our website, WBTV.com. Reporting live in Noda, Caroline Hicks, WBTV on your side. It's a great idea, Caroline, and we hope it helps. Thank you. The trial for Mary's murder has not yet started. Lavery and Salerno have court dates later this month. Deals